Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now with Easter on its way, I thought we could do a little Easter craft. So I picked up this from the range. It's basically, it's just a cutout of a bunny rabbit. So you could just leave it as it is and, you know, just keep it that colour. But in true Becky's Crafts and Goodies style, we're going to decorate it. So at the side here, you can see I've got a piece of rice paper and it's just an A4 sheet. And I thought this little section here with the flowers on it would be really, really nice to put over the front. So we just need some paint and things to kind of go with it and, and colours to mix with it. Now, I've got a rough idea of how I'd like it to turn out in my head, but I'm not sure it will turn out that way because sometimes you add bits and do different things. So as long as you've got like a rough outline when you start, you can just add bits and, and do whatever as you go along. That's what I tend to do anyway. So what I'm going to do to start with is to do a base colour because I'm going to do like a crackle effect. I thought it'd be nice just to do something a bit different rather than just plain painting. I know we did crackle on the tray, but I thought it would look quite nice on this, just a different kind of texture, really. Now, I'm going to use this colour emulsion because if you look at this, you can see it's got kind of blues and greens and I looked through my other paint and I didn't really have the right colour that I wanted so I'm going to put this underneath and I'm not sure if it's going to work because it's emulsion but <clears throat> I'm going to go for it anyway so I'm going to put that underneath and then we'll do like a crackle effect over the top so to start with we'll take all these bits off we'll take this little fluffy bunny tail and then we're just going to paint it all in this now this is called dark duck egg it's from Wilco it's a beautiful colour I really really love it I've got some hearts actually some little wooden hearts that I bought this for to paint so I'll still probably use it for another project so I'll pop this on I loved a years ago duck egg was really fashionable wasn't it I mean as I say this is a dark one sometimes it's a bit greenier than this but I am um, I absolutely used to love it. Everything was duck egg, but not as blue as this. It was it was greenier. So I'm going to paint our little bunny rabbit. I'll probably I might give it a couple of coats, um, just so it's really nicely covered. And I'll do I'll do it all because I'm not sure how much I'm crackling. I probably won't crackle the back. I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll paint it all, and then I've got a choice. And I can decide because I say sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing until I do it. So I'll just uh, give this a couple of coats and I'll be back with you. Right, the next step, we're going to put some of this Pentart Crackle Medium over the top. Now, I'm not fussed here. We've got a little bit of glue where I took the, the bunny rabbit tail off. You could sand that down if you want to, but I'm not too fussed because I'm going to crackle it and I'm going to put some rice paper over the top. So I wasn't too fussed about that. So the Crackle Medium... You just need a brush and you just go over it, just do one layer. You don't need to go over it in two layers or anything like that, like you're painting. I'm going to do one over the whole of the rabbit, front and back, and then that will enable us to be able to crackle it. And then this colour underneath that we've painted on first will be the one that creeps through. Right, that's going to dry now. I've done the front and back. And what I've done is I've just stood it on this um, little plastic pocket that came with some rice paper. And that, if you stick it on something plastic like that, it won't stick to the surface. So obviously I painted it on some paper, but it would probably stick to it. So pop it on something non-stick. Now I'm just going to leave our little bunny rabbit now for a little while till that's completely dry. And then we'll do a, another colour over the top. This is dried now, so we're going to put on some paint over the top. And what I've done is I've just mixed together a few different colours. So it's got it's a bit like a light grey, really. I've put some cream and some white in there and then a little bit of grey. So we're going to go over the top. And when you're doing this, it starts to crackle quite quickly. So you have to be careful with your brush strokes and how many times you go over something. So I'll just show you how really it starts so you do like your normal painting as you just normally would but you try can you see it's starting to crackle so if you can get as much on your brush as you dare and don't really go over it too much that's the key Ooh, I'll get scared doing this 
<laughs> okay, so as you can see there, can you see how it's starting to crackle? So what I'll do is I'll put over that the little bit of rice paper so I can sort of move it up. But I'm just going to see how it crackles first and um, hopefully it should come out quite nicely. But I'm going to do the rest of the bunny rabbit and then um, we'll let that dry. Right, nice and dry now. So the next step, we are going to sort this rice paper out. Now, with a napkin, you have to go around the um, pitcher or whatever it is you're, you're cutting out with some water and then you can sort of rip it and pull it apart. But when you've got some rice paper, you don't have to do that. So you can literally just rip it and it will sort of stand it. So I wouldn't cut it out because it, it will leave like a, a straight edge I prefer to rip it because then that jaggedy edge blends in a little bit better so I'm just going to go around this flower and if I do need any extra bits that you know cutting off or I don't need it all then I can do that um, a little bit later on but we've just got to dodge the Eiffel Tower if we can and sort of any other bits that we need to pull off like I say we can do that just kind of get the the rough outline really and then we'll we'll stick that on right I'm just placing it on here and I'm trying to decide what part to do and I think I only want this down here so I'm just going to rip it a bit more and just get that section right and then we're going to use some matte finish you can use Mod Podge if you've got Mod Podge or you can use watered down PVA that works as well so what we're going to do is get some of our matte finish pop that on here and because it's rice paper you can be a little bit sort of firmer with it than say for instance a napkin pop that there and then paste that down like that what I'm going to do now is to go over the rest of the rabbit with the matte finish just as a bit of a sealer to start with and then we're going to distress it now what I'm going to do is just to start and distress some bits around the side now I've got some antiquing cream here but you know what you can just use some paint if you want to use some paint I've splodged a tiny bit on a piece of card here. And these are just those makeup sponges from Poundland. You know, you can get like a pack of all different shapes and sizes. So literally, that's all that is. So I'm going to dab it on and then get loads of it off again. And I'm kind of going to go around the side a little bit. And I'm going to sort of put it on, but I'm going to rub it off as well. So just to give it a little bit of something else, so put it on and then just move that over there, just literally rub it off just to give a different effect and I am going to do something else over the top of that but that's kind of the first sort of stage so I'm going to do that around the rest of the edges. I'll just show you a little bit closer up what I've done. And then I've done these side bits and I've kind of like rubbed some bits so I've got more of the colour off and then left it darker in other places. And then that's what I've done to the back. And then on this bit here, you can see I've gone dark around the edges and sort of just smudged it in a little bit. So you can see down there what I've done. So. Now what I'm going to do is go around with some of the fairy sheiks, the gold um, bits and bobs, can't think what it's called. Look, this is rub and buff. So rub and buff is basically the same sort of thing. It's like a, it's like a wax metallic-y kind of finish. So this is like a gold like wax. So the rub and buff does the same thing. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. You do end up getting it all on your fingers. But... Um, just going to smooth a little bit round and it just adds another kind of 
layer, another dimension, another colour. So we're just going to go and you can basically put on as much or as little as you want. Can you see it there? And that just it just kind of brings it to life a little bit more. So I'm going to go around the edges with that as well. So if I just bring that up, the light's not great down here, but I don't know if you can see. I think it looks better in real life than on the camera, but you can see I've gone around the edge and I've also very slightly come over the top there. So it's gone onto the flat surface as well. On the back, I've just kind of gone around the edges, but I've brought it a little bit further on the front. And then at the bottom, I've gone around all of the edges on the bottom there. And um, that's pretty cool. So I really like it. I like the effect of it. And it's kind of, you've got the other different colours coming through. So what I'm going to do now is stick on the bow, you know, the little bow that came with it, because I thought that just match lovely. I'm not going to put the bunny tail back on because I don't think that kind of matches. But I'll tell you what I thought would look nice as well. One of these little flowers on the bottom. These are from, well, what used to be known as Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm not sure if they're still called that now. But these little flowers and um, had a little play about earlier on and I've got these I bought these I bought these years ago probably one of the first videos I did actually but look they look really pretty don't they with the the white I'm not going to do the pink because it's a different kind of pink to that so it, it sort of sticks out but I thought the white would look quite nice with the bow so I thought that would go really sweet together so I'm just going to stick that on with some of the pin, pin flare, flare glue. Right, so I'm just going to put a splodge of that there and then stick the flare. And I did think about putting more than one, but I just didn't want to overload it. And then I'll just stick this on as well. Ooh, got a leaf stuck to that. That's the air popping through. But I just thought that was really cute. You could make actually. One of these little bows if you haven't got one i've just got a bit of glue on the front of that but you could make one of these quite easily because it's just literally a bit of that twine with a, with a kind of a flower on the front and you can just paint that but there we go doesn't that look really cute and that was literally just a plain bunny rabbit and i think it just looks so much nicer definitely suits my decor if you've been with me a while you'll know that that's completely me but the lighting is not great down here so i'll try and take a picture of it for the for the thumbnail in a bit of a better light but i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've um been inspired to have a go at doing it as well so i've um i've loved doing that so that's it from me i hope um you've enjoyed this i've enjoyed doing it for you if you haven't already subscribed then um please do hit the subscribe button because it really 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 does help me and so does hitting the like button as well and comments it all really helps to boost me up on youtube so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button because um we've we've gone past our fifty thousand now so we're doing really really well but um yeah, so a nice little Easter cross, the first one of this year for you guys. So that's it for me. So I hope you've, um, you're having a lovely evening and I will see you all again soon. So you take care. Bye for now.